Hi Paul 1, welcome to your reading. So this will be what are they hiding? What are they hiding from you? What are their secrets? Frustration. consciousness at the top of the deck let's see what is they hiding from power one what is power wanting to know about this person I feel like it's hard it is hard for you to trust them it's like really like trust is a big issue in this connection. So what are they hiding? What are they hiding? Queen of Swords. Maybe an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you're the air sign. You don't trust this person though regardless. If there's a person or not. Like you're a stiff on this person with the frustration card. Like super, it's like this person. It's pretty much dead if they step to you. What is, okay, so what are they hiding? <laughs> Three of Cups. Whatever it is that they're hiding, you already know about it or you already found out about it, basically. So now the trust is gone. Like, you're getting, with the consciousness, you're getting, like, like basically you're seeing the red flags. You're getting a lot of, like, yeah, intuition. That's giving high priestess energy where you're, like, super in tune with everything that's going on around you with the Queen of Swords. So it's like you already know what's up. So what are they hiding? Definitely somebody that they're just having fun with, with the Three of Cups. And the fact that they have other options, because this is literally three people. One on this side, one on this side. So it's like... I just heard what's better than one than two. Who is this person? Like, they're getting on my nerves. What is this person hiding? Cherry it. Nine of Swords. You put this person in, like. <laughs> this person, first of all, they can't even handle you at all. Look at that. Look at him. He's ready to crumble. I feel like whatever they're hiding is definitely not. It's not much. Like, it's not even worth you getting upset about with the queen of swords don't be upset because it's like really not even like this person is super super lame and they're like pretty much not for you pa one i'm gonna be honest i don't even feel like you trust them anyways you can't love somebody without trust you can't work on anything or be in a relationship with somebody that you don't trust you're always going to be on guard with the queen of swords and that's not really healthy for you or your mental health so I feel like the best thing probably is to let this person go or to just keep them as an option. Don't be serious with this person. Keep them as a fucking option. If you don't want to let this person go, the best thing I can get like for you, for you to be on top, is to keep them as a fucking option. Because the way they was coming at you with the cherry was sideways. 
they tried to play with you or they tried to play on your intelligence not knowing that you're super super aware and you trust your spirit guides with the trust card the card fell on the floor queen of wands it could be hiring a fire sign or air sign or and for some of you guys the reason why the queen of and the queen of uh excuse me the queen of swords and the queen of wands here is because you're not no longer tripping on them no more you went from this this energy to this energy or you're just straight up both I think you're super, you're super, super, super cool in this person now. So what are they hiding from you? Can I get any more card spirit? Five of Wands. Yeah, there was hella other people. Hangman. They could have been hiding a Pisces. Cancer energy as well. Pisces are Cancer. Along with an Aries, Leo, Sag. From you, hiding from you. Definitely was other people. With the Five of Wands and the Three of Cups. I guess with the Hangman, they thought she would put up with it. Or they didn't expect you to they didn't they definitely didn't expect you to act how you acted or to react how you reacted i did not expect it i feel like a lot of you guys got into a huge argument and then went ghost or you guys got into a huge like fight and then You decided to explore your options. Like, you're not gonna, it's kind of like, okay, so if you can have your options open, I can too. You thought you were gonna have your cake and eat it too, and I just, you just play the field, and I'd be what? Only talking to you? No, sir. I'm, what, what world does that work in? Yeah, Empress. I was getting your more so the Empress. I did wanna say that. But I think you're just in this energy right now towards them. But you're the empress. And they could be, could like I said, hiding these type of girls from you. Or because you're the empress, they didn't expect you to act out of these two energies with the five of wands, uh, five of wands here too. So what they're hiding from you, they were cheating. Or they are cheating, two of cups. They could have even had a whole girlfriend long distance. Or an ex they were still speaking to is what you need to know that, that they were hiding from you, pal. One. But I'm pretty sure the things that I'm telling you, you definitely are you found out about or you suspect. You could have even went lurking and got really, really upset. Like really, really, uh, you turned up on them. Yeah, this person is like trifling. Like they try to get one up on you. Keyword tried. But yeah, that's what I have for you, Paul. One, if it did help and it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post. Hi, Paul, too. Welcome to your reading. So let's see what this person is hiding from you. How bad they want to fuck. With the passion card in reverse. They love your confidence. If you wear glasses, they love that you wear glasses. Or this person could wear glasses. They could wear shades. They could wear shades a lot. Or you do. Somebody could live in Miami. They watch you. You're from Miami. Or somebody, something to do with Miami. Cleanse. For what they're hiding.
Yeah, that's giving me water. Like they live in Miami with the glasses that we saw. Are you guys in Miami right now? Are you gonna go to Miami soon? Are you guys met in Miami? Why am I hearing that one song, um, Broke Up, Broke Up in Miami by Lil Durk? Is that what it's called? Somebody comment below what it's called. I might put it in the description box because I just channeled that song. I really like that song. Um, so y'all could be definitely toxic in this pile, but like really, really good at it, very sexy. You guys are very attractive with the confidence card. But this person could be hiding the fact that they want to come clean about something with the cleanse card or they want to get clean. This person, this person could have addictions. You could too. Like you guys want to get clean together or have a better lifestyle or move somewhere. This person, why are they hiding that though? Or maybe they're hiding their addictions. They're hiding their addictions from you, how to. Because they don't want you to think badly about them. It's kind of like um, how Lil Durk probably, you know, had his addictions in India. It was like healthy. Like he has to change for her. Because she's just not going to put up with certain shit. So y'all could be a Libra dealing with a Pisces because I think Lil Durk's a Libra and India's a Pisces. But you guys don't have to be, literally. But that's for a specific somebody, I guess. Space. You could have literally broke up with this person when you went to, when you're traveling with your friends. Could have really put them in their feelings. Like you turned, some of you guys, you turned your location off. So what they're hiding is probably that they're in a really dark space without you mindset. They're in a really bad mindset without you. They probably even delete their social media accounts or they feel suicidal. How to? Is what they're hiding, yeah, passion reverse. They're hiding how bad they wanna have sex with you and how bad they're like uh, whipped over you. Like the sex is really, really, really good. The best they've ever had. It's like really healing and passionate. So they're hiding the fact of how sprung they are over you, so energy. Yeah, you bring in a lot of energy and like good, good vibes around this person. You make them feel safe. So they're hiding their addictions or their dark side from you. Power tools, what you need, what you need to know. Comfort. Yeah, you're this person's safe place, safe haven. Disruption. Hmm. It's like when a bad guy falls in love with a good girl, he's doing all this unusual stuff for her. Like he looks very unusual or awkward doing it, but he loves doing it for her. Cause it makes him feel very, very important and healed and good about himself. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, three of swords. They're um, hiding the fact that they're heartbroken and that they wanna get back together and that they've been working on themselves. And they're hiding their, yeah, that just comp, yeah. Yeah. Three of Swords. <laughs> it's 
Some of you guys are, they're hiding, they have a sex addiction. Or they be having a lot of groupies or hoes around them. Or something. I get a couple more. Could it be drugs even? Or like uh, extreme sensory to like person could have just been through a lot of the three of swords is what they're hiding like their their trauma is what they're hiding from you yeah it's like some things they've seen or been around that scarred this person that they're hiding about to That was very uncomfortable. So now that this like pretty comf comfy energy and vibe, which is you, comes around, they don't want to lose that. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Some of you guys could definitely have water in your chart. Or you fell for this person. They do a lot for you with the Ten of Wands. And this makes you so happy. But you can't always be there to pick this person up. So don't feel guilty if you did end up like, I don't know, something happened with the Three of Swords and you kind of just went to focus on yourself. I get The traumas can make you do stupid, selfish things to help soothe that trauma. So I feel like whatever whatever they did only soothed them momentarily, but it probably like damaged the connection for some of you guys, but definitely getting hella addiction in this pile and like some type of sensory that they were exposed to very young that changed them. What else do they want to tell? Tell the Empress. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What does person want to tell about too? Like they want to make you a mom. And if you're already mom, they want you to be a mom to their child. Got the or they could have mommy issues. Death. Their mom could have died is what they're hiding or just their mom issues what they're hiding they have mothers uh they fight i don't know son tower oh some of you guys are hiding the fact that they have like issues with their baby mom i guess for some of you guys two more i'm gonna close it Temperance, could be a Sag. Somebody has Sag placements. Capricorn, Leo. That's a Five of Pentacles. Yeah, that pretty much some conf uh, confirmed a lot of things I was talking about though, the Five of Pentacles. So I'm not gonna repeat myself in this too very unstable environment that they grew up in is what they're hiding probably for most of you guys to pick this pile. But if that did help and some of the messages did resonate for your situation, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. So this will be what is this person hiding? The person for some of you guys could definitely be uh, hiding like legal stuff. Some of you guys are hiding the fact that they were in prison before or jail. Or that they're like a convicted felon or something like that. That's specific. What is this person hiding from pile three? 
what is this person hiding? Isolation? Yeah. <laughs> now this person did jail time or prison time for something. And they're hiding this from you. Isolation? Yeah, it's definitely getting this person was locked up. <laughs> let me out. They won't let me out. something violent look at the scorpio card death that's specific but yeah there could be a scorpio determination but i feel like a lot of you guys they they turn their life around for the better with all this yellow like they're learning, like they're doing what's right. They want to do what's right. Or they learn to just, you know, they're doing other things to occupy their mind and their vibration. Yeah, magic. Like I see this as like energy, like a lot of rays or something like that. It's like they're, I don't know. It's like they got really religious maybe or very spiritual after whatever happened with the isolation card. Whatever happened, it made them tap more into like their spiritual body, their spiritual being. It, it, it tapped them into that third eye and that enlightenment energy. It pushed them towards enlightenment, like seeking enlightenment. Yeah, hunger. Like they started reading more. They started doing research about the chakras. They started like looking up herbs, crystals, maybe for some of you guys. Like, but I definitely get it. It's definitely something where they tapped into their more religious side their more godly god side what is this person hiding from pile three I mean, if it wasn't literal jail it could just been like their karma put them in isolation or they were alone for a while Abundance. They make a lot of money now. They make money, good money, they're stable. They focus more on, on money. They focus more on their vibe. Like, yeah, they're like being abundant, providing for you. So maybe this person hides how they make money, I guess. For some of you guys, because it's like coin. So, like, maybe they hide how they make extra money. Maybe they're hiding how much money they have. This person could gamble a lot with the abundance card. They're hiding that they gamble or something. Reflection. from the reflection cards they're hiding the fact that they're really really obsessed with their image your image pal three they're obsessed with your image they're obsessed with having you around them for their image because you're so beautiful and because you 
are so innocent and pure and beautiful. But they definitely obsess over your looks, like your body. Your hair, like... This is what they are hiding from you, Pile 3. That is super, super sexual with them. Um... That won't be for all you guys. Faith. Energy. I'm gonna get two more. I'm gonna pull from the regular deck. Five of Wands, High Pieces, some of you guys, they could have came to you for a reading and they fell in love with you. They didn't mean to fall in love with a high priestess. It was supposed to be, they supposed they paid you for a reading or something like that, but it ended up being more for this person or for, maybe you guys, it's like they're hiding that they feel more and they're hiding the fact that they were sexualizing you the whole time during the reading or something like that, when it wasn't supposed to be like that. It's like, what? Some of you guys, it's like they wish they would have paid for sex instead. Instead of a reading. I don't know. That's specific, but... It's kind of giving like how the Joker and Harley got together, but it was just supposed to be like, that was his therapist. Okay, let's get some more cards. What is this person hiding? Yeah, they want to have sex with you. They want to freak you. Like, what should you be talking about? Be turning them on. Chariot? Five of Wands, I and mean, we got the Queen of Wands. Somebody, you could be a fire sign, or somebody's a fire sign with all these wands. King of Pentacles, so somebody could have Earth in their chart, or a fire sign in there with a uh, King of Pentacles. I'm getting this person want to pay your bills and some more stuff. But they just don't know because you're super spiritual is what they're hiding. But mm -hmm. feels like more more than sex to me, even though they're kind of trying to like pay for sex is what it feel like. So what are they hiding? They could be hiding that they're a trick or something. They could be hiding. Could be a Cancer you're dealing with or a Pisces. What are they hiding from Pile 3? Page of Swords. Nine of Wands. I would check that phone with the Page of Swords and type in your name. Three of Three of Swords. I would go through their phone, type in your name, type up link, 
type up F-U-C-K, type up uh, <laughs> your name, type up, I don't know, type up emojis, sexual emojis, I guess, and try to see what's in that phone. Because I feel like, what are they hiding? Something in that phone. With the page of swords. Maybe even some receipts with the page of swords. That could just be, yeah, it could be receipts. Of some sort. That's hangman twice. Could be two Pisces dealing with each other. Don't have to be. I'm gonna get like one more. I'm gonna close this reading. What are they hiding from pile three? Could be high on the fact that they're super religious, probably, and they want something that P U S S Y. cards. What are they hiding for Pile Three? Thank you. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, they're just hiding what they do for work. Or they're hiding their history, their past. But they're a changed person now, so they don't really feel like it's a big deal. But I'm definitely not getting it that they're really hiding a person. But I'll just check their phone and that social media, like... So... Yeah, see who I talking to, I guess. <laughs> so that's what I have for you, Pile 3, on what they're hiding. If it did help and it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post.